Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. I research, write articles and podcasts about Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin and decentralized applications. This series is Getting Started with Ethereum Classic, section Comparisons with Ethereum and Bitcoin. I am going to read the article Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic are complementary base layer systems. This is episode 22 of 50. Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic are complementary base layer systems. Ethereum Classic, ETC, is a distinct and sound decentralized computing model that does not undermine Bitcoin's purpose in any way. This is because ETC is Turing completeness plus proof of work plus fixed monetary policy. High security smart contracts, decentralized programs, execute in the same secure environment at the base layer, not outside with fancy pegs and federations or insecure drive chains. Ethereum Classic's philosophy and model is the same as Bitcoin. High value, high security transactions at the base layer and high performance, low value transactions on layer two systems and above. Um, the difference is that Bitcoin is incapable of storing and executed programs inside its highly secure environment. The trade-off is that ETC is marginally less secure than Bitcoin and Bitcoin is pure store of value. However, it's better and the market will naturally choose to have a few parallel systems with everything else stacked on top rather than a single chain supporting all. In fact, it is very likely there will be three or four systems at the base layer, not only uh, for the need of Turing completeness, but also because one, Bitcoin is not free of systemic risks. Two, it is not trustless, but, but trust minimized. Uh, three, people will want and need to diversify such risks. Furthermore, as Bitcoin will support computed smart contract strings with taproot and graftroot, ETC can easily operate on BTC and all systems on top may operate on BTC and ETC depending on their risk and functionality trade-offs and requirements. Thank you very much.